A heartbreaking scene inside a South Florida home, and police say the suspected killer, no stranger to one of the victims. That one post on Facebook could be the thing that brings justice to this case. Seven News with a break in the case. Good evening, everybody. Two women and a baby murdered. Police say it was the tragic end to a violent relationship. Seven's Raj Lowe is live at BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale with the details. Raj? And cops tell me that in the last few moments of one of the victims' lives in this case, she was so frightened, she went to Facebook and actually posted, according to police, that her ex was outside the door. Her ex, the suspect in this case, police say, is the father of her child. And then police say that the suspect, who they just arrested earlier this morning, would come in and claim these three lives. Limiting Belizar has a hold for Broward County uh, with no bond, three counts of murder in the first degree. When they got inside the apartment, they found the crime scene that even the most veteran detective would have a tough time dealing with. Broward County Sheriff Al Lamberti with the news that this man, Linton Belazaire, has been arrested for the triple murder of Natasha Plummer, her six-month-old son Carlton, and Octavia Barnett. An 11-month-old baby was also found in that Lauderdale Lakes apartment unharmed. Cops say the victims were shot to death. Cops say the unharmed child is the son of Belazaire and Barnett. Octavia Barnett's last posting uh, actually pointed to the suspect, and thankfully she did that. Police say Octavia Barnett posted to Facebook shortly before her death that the suspect, Belazaire, was outside the apartment. We want to ensure that not one more child witnesses or experiences the death of a parent at the hands of a partner. Cops say there was a history of domestic violence between Belazaire and Barnett. He gave admissions uh, during the time that we spoke to him that uh, indicate that he, his involvement in this. Belazaire was picked up on a warrant in Dade County. Investigators would not say what the motive was, only to stress. Specifically, I can't tell you of specific times when she went to the police, but we, we were aware of some incidents that occurred between them that would be classified as domestic violence. And police, as you heard there, said that there was a history here. Now, the suspect was picked up in Dade County. He was transferred up here this afternoon to the Broward County Jail, where he will now face these serious charges. We're live tonight outside the Broward Sheriff's Office, Rosh Lowe, 7 News.